Because <laughs> always pastors, whatever message I bring, pastors pray it to me. So. Amen. Amen. Please stay with me to Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 8 to 10. <laughs>
Philippians 4 verse 19. Mm. And my God will supply oh. all oh. and every need of your according to the riches and glory of Christ. Amen. Luke 6 verse 38. You know, give, and it will be given to you. Mm. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put in your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to us. Amen. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. Mm. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, Amen. so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in every place. And I think a little while ago we were saying, where do you put your blessings? First in the heavenly places, and then it becomes real. Amen. Deuteronomy 28, literally the whole chapter. <laughs> and if you faithfully obey my voice, be careful to do all my commands, commandments that He commands you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. Mm. And all, all these blessings shall come upon you and will overtake you. Now that I have been a Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, mm. and there will be food in my house. Mm. And thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven for you, mm. and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more food. Mm. And this scripture stuck to me because, like I said, does God need what we give? No, God doesn't need what we give. But what is God doing for us when we give? He says, I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour down your blessing until there is no more need. Amen. Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, mm. whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by the water mm. and sends out its root to the stream and does not fear when he comes. Mm. For he leaves his leaves in the green and he's not anxious in the year of God, for he does not cease to bear anything. Probably Psalms 1, 1 to 3, talking about the same thing. We need to get planted, mm. planted mm. in the mm. word of God. Amen. And we become unbookable. Yes. We become unshakable. Yes. So that when these things come against us, mm. we don't start wondering who, where is it going to come from? Where is this going to happen? How is this going to happen? Or we stay rooted in God. Amen. Stay rooted in His Word. Stay in Him. And He will deliver us. Amen. I want to share with you, which I wanted to do for a little while. So, I get, how shall I put it, challenged by symptoms. That's what I get challenged by. And it's almost as if I, I know when it comes a Thursday, I start getting challenged because the devil doesn't want to here on the Sunday. <laughs> doesn't want this message coming to you on the Sunday. Mm. And then I get up in the morning and I say, by his stripes, I go through my whole day by his stripes. I am healed. Amen. Amen. And you, Sister Friday, wanted me to sing Amazing Grace to you. Well, <laughs> 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 she thought I wasn't going to. <laughs> but staying in the Word of God and allowing the Word of God yes. to come to effect in your life mm. is your healing. Oh, yes. When I stood in my garage this morning, I was saying to God, God, I'm going to this service this morning mm. because I want to hear from you. Oh, man. I'm going to receive. Yes. I'm going to continue to receive. Oh, man. Oh, man. Amen. And that is what happens when you praise God. Mm. The healing of God comes upon you. Oh, Amen. Amen. As I drive in my car, I've been blessed by my mom in law. She gave me uh, audio CDs, the whole Bible. Amen. So I've been listening now. I'm now buying Chronicles. It's, it's a 
but not going back in day one. Because it's got a lot of geometry. And, and this is the son of that one, and he began that one, and that one. And she just a lot of and the, the one thing that I was saying to Pastor last night was when you come to kings and you listen to all of these kings and, and, and then there's a God that, and God's anger, like God was unhappy with them and they upset God because they wouldn't follow his ways. Mm. And this was like, I think I can count on my one, I don't think there's five of those kings that follow his ways. And just everybody went, like after a while I'm going, so I travel to Midland. I've got a job in Midland. And then every time along the way I'm going, ah, no, not that, not that long. <laughs> <laughs> not that long. And so I just keep going. And, and the point is that, that I'm trying to make is that, you know, here were the Israelites, and they, sure, they had Moses. You know, Moses was talking to God. Mm. They saw the head, they saw things that, just amazed me how that you see those miracles. I was listening to, I saw a clip on, on uh, Facebook about uh, the three uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and how that they were in the, in the fire of Nebuchadnezzar, and then they just, you know, an angel appeared there, and they were in murders. Mm. And I'm like, oh, that is like amazing. Mm. And it's just, that is like, and so they, they, they knew all these things, but yes. they continued to worship idols. Nice. They continued to not worship God. Mm. They continued to move away from God. And I'm just like, how, how does it work? I don't understand it. Because the teaching that we get is the one that says, stay in, in the, the word. word. Amen. Stay in the word. Amen. Amen. Mm. I'm going to read 
to give you something which is Arabic Christians in the story. I said, God will do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. Because you are named. Yes. His blessings will chase you down and you want to do and overtake you. Father, as we are sowing these clothes, 
in that child, the other child. We believe also that uh, uh, the, the, the car that my child wants to play with, let it come in the name of Jesus. Mm. Then we believe we receive. And the child believes they receive. Mm. And God will make sure that child will believe their car. Amen. And when they can't come, tell them God has given them a car. Hallelujah. Amen. So when that child goes to university and man is living, you remember how God gave them a toy car. Hallelujah. Amen. And they will reach out to God and believe God. Mm. That's why the greatest transfer or the blessing you can give to your children is not money, it's not a house, it's not your education. The greatest transfer you can give to your children is faith. Amen. Oh my God. That's a faith. Amen. That's what Abraham gave to Isaac. Mm. Because when you are long gone, they will need faith mm. in this dark world. Mm. Mm. So if they don't believe that, God will bless them. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. You know, when you are here, the world of God. He is that you never hated. Mm. Don't just when Mr. Wilson is saying, God, God, John Dewey is saying, we need to quote it. Mm. What you do? That's life, you see. No, no, no. Hey, oh, it's John Dewey's thing. No, 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 it's not, it's not in the quoting. It's not. You know, when you are saying it, I hate that I somehow never hate. Because I've come to, if somebody says it's really the word of God, I don't think I've heard it. I've read that there are only scores and hundreds and hundreds. But, Every time somebody opened the Bible, I said, I don't know. When I read it, I don't quote it. Listen, when you were saying, me, I hate what I've never heard. Do you see what? Don't approach the Bible that I've heard it. You're already wrong. Amen. Come to the Bible, I've never heard it before. Whether Amen. the speaker you're just reading it, don't say, I know. Don't say, no, no, you, you, are, you, you are wrong already. When you approach the Bible, say, really good. When you're approaching the Bible, come empty, come hungry. Come like you don't know. Amen. Don't say, Amen. I know. Ah, no. That's pride also. No, I know. You don't know. This Bible, tomorrow can be living. Because this is God. Every day is changing faces. Hallelujah. Amen. So to approach the Bible that like you never heard it. Amen. So as they are preaching mostly, as they are preaching on women, but don't they? they and that's how people are taking the Bible with levity. They are not seeing answer. No, I am. It's not knowing. Is it waiting for you? No, I know. What, 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 okay. If you know what to you know. To know means you are experiencing it. Amen. Like, like, like intimate, intimately. It's something that you are benefiting from it. Mm. You can't say, John, this thing can't even bless you. Look at when you were quoting it. I heard this. When you say, For oh, God so loved the world that he gave to God, whosoever, then the Lord written to me. It is whosoever dies into the light of the world. Oh, heartedly. That will be saved. Amen. So actually, it's not, it is not just for God's out the world that will say whosoever believes that will be saved. I, I hate it something. It's whosoever that died in. Not just he hated it. Whosoever died into it and said, This is my life. Mm. And then begin to read it, shall be saved. Mm. Amen. 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 Do you see it? I hate God through you. Do you see what I'm going to say? So when somebody stand here, be hearing God, not Amen. be hearing them. Me, I don't hear them when I preach. I hear God. Amen. When she's she, she in prayer, I'm hearing God. Because I've come to, I'm not so familiar with God. Right now, God is talking. So don't understand. We need to change our perception. When he stands to preach a lot of what should you say? So it means God is talking now. Mm. When she stands here to, to do the teach the, the, the prayer point, who is who is leading us prayer point now? God is leading us prayer point. When they start to sing here, who is who is God is leading us prayer point? God is leading us Now when you are like that, that church is going to contact the power of God. Oh, Why? Because you are seeing God. You are seeing God. So so when, when you are saying, Oh my life, you have been faithful. You are not seeing the pride of what the first one. You are seeing God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you will be lost in that presence. Oh my life, you have been so, so good. You are seeing God. And that's where God will touch you. Hallelujah. Mm. That's, where, that's where God will heal you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's where a miracle comes. Why? You no longer see the 
leader or the pastor, you are seeing God. Hallelujah. Amen. When our perception changes, we are going to experience God. Amen. I saw it. It's was so ever that that didn't do it. Then again, I heard God from you. When you go to Luke 6 and 10, then the Lord asked me a question. That's the hell is it? I was on the last one. Do you want to receive money? How many want to receive money? How many want to receive money? Do you want to receive money? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? How many want to receive money? Amen. Yeah, yeah. Do you how many want money? Oh, if you don't want it, if you don't want it. So how many? Do you want money? How many want money? Do you want it? Do you want it? Say I want money. I want money. If you want money, be interested in giving money. I hate, I hate to you say, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, check it together, running over, shall men, shall men. Shall men give unto you? It's God is the source, but it comes from God to men. Amen. So if you are not obeying the law, giving, no one will give unto you. Hallelujah! Amen. Oh my God! How many want money? How many want money? What should you do? Give. What should you do? Give. What should you do? Give. Give what? Money. Give what? Money. Simple. So, me, I was hearing God. So, are you going to do yourself a favor when you want to pray for money? No. no. You are violating the word of God. Many people are violating the word. They are on the mountain. Oh God, please, financial breakthrough. I will never pray for financial breakthrough. It's an abuse of the word of God. He didn't tell me to do that. He said, give. Mm. Where's your hand? Where's your hand? There's wrong believing. There's pray for financial breakthrough. What kind of, what kind of understanding is that? He said, give. Mm. I want to pray for breakfast. Tell him, give. Are people getting this? Mm. Do you see it? Or oh, let me pray for clothes to come. Don't do that. Gather clothes and give. Mm. In any area you want to receive, be a giver in that area. You want people to love you, share love with people. Mm. Oh my God. You want to have a good friend yourself, be a good one. Friend. friend. So friendship, you reap what? Friendship. friendship. That's why if you are a person who insults people, who insults yourself, mm. it's a principle. That's like, well, I don't know why people just insult me. Check out, you are always insulting people. I don't know why people are, people are always inviting me. Check out, check out. Because Jesus says, whatsoever you want to be done to you, do it unto others. It's a speech of principle. Once we understand this and live by this principle, I'm telling you, mm. our prayer, our prayer point will be very less. Mm. And I want to what we call prayer of intimacy. Mm. Oh Father, I thank you. Oh God, you're so good, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. You just gave me money. God says, yeah, because you gave. Hallelujah. Oh, man. That will be your prayer. Your life of prayer just when you worship and praise and say, what do you want me to do, Lord? Which way should I go? That's your prayer. Not money, not breakthrough. Do the word and you're going to have less prayer point. Amen. I hate God when you stop. He asked me to want money. He said, yes, if you did. Because I said, give my name, shall give it to you. Mm. Not pray for money. You hear pastors are put. Have you ever heard us pray that we should have a financial breakthrough? Have you ever heard that prayer request in this church? No. You can never find it. Because that's not how we get it. So this church is sold in your churches. They are tidy. I'm a tidy pastor. I'm a sold pastor to other people. I do that. Everybody hates me. That. That's how we get, we get there. Oh, what we do? Oh, Lord, we can pray. Give us knowledge of prosperity. We need to have an understanding of the word of God of prosperity. That's, what, that's how we pray. That's what she led us in prayer to me. Amen. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It went that way. Praise God. Mm. I said, praise God. Amen. Father, thank you for the release of grace. The devil, if you cannot write of a body, mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you cannot write of a body, Amen. you cannot write of a body, mm. you cannot write of a body, mm. you cannot write, mm. Mark your Lord and get out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Are we being blessed? Amen. 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 Then you said something which will protect you. You know what I'm saying? You shall come to pass, you shall obey. Because the word of God. He says, All these blessings shall come upon you. Mm. That, that's what you read. Me, I hear God says, My blessings are conditional. Amen. Amen. Then the Lord added, The blessings of God are conditional. I was writing, but they are accessible through obedience. Amen. So, do you see that? There's a, do you know people in the world of Christ? They don't want the truth. Mm. They would rather go where people are stealing from them and do them so, no, bring money. So that you take this water, take this water out of the wood, take this water for ice, for this water for the feet, take this water for toys. There's all kind of water, and then you see that they buy one fifty, two fifty, three fifty. They leave the office of the prophet. They have left two thousand, and then they cannot just give a genuine offering where the word of God is being taught. Do you get it? Amen. I was hearing from God. Then again, you talked about something. Our faith will be tried. Mm -hmm. But you says we must get rooted in the way of God. God. Your faith will be tried. All this talking, talking of God, this only, no me, I believe God, I believe God. The devil will say, okay, I want to see you come. Just little. And you're going to lose those people looking, you're going to lose those people looking out of you. When something comes to them, they want to cry out. You know, just believe God. Just believe God. Just believe God. But they will say that they are not believe God for anything. Every time they are prepared, they run to pass a down. And there's no other part of that. Take it. But take it in the name of Jesus. And they take it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take your pastor, tell him in faith, until your faith level escalates, where you can solve disease by faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. So take your banado, your pastor, <laughs> take your grandpa, Amen. but take it in faith in the name of Jesus. Grandpa, bless you in the name of Jesus. As I take your grandpa, go. Take power from me in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, that's how the word of God works. So until it, it works gradually. So now if you put a offering, just raise up your hand. Up, they will give you an end of the Just raise your hand up, so I should assist the ashes. Praise God. Amen. How are you blessed? Amen. Amen. So, go to, go to the doctor in faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't die in the doctors. When they say, we see this at the end of the So, and when you walk out of that, don't say, no. Disease in the name of Jesus. Amen. My stripes are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said they prescribe for you. Bless it with your hand. Hallelujah. Speak over it. And when the Lord prompts you, don't take it, don't take it. Alright? Mm. Very, very important. So we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Mm. If he says, no, don't. There's one couple they called me. Uh, they said they have this problem. The Lord quickened me. The problem is caused by this temptation. I said, don't do it. Do this. Take lemon. And take salt, a lot of salt drink. And right now, yesterday and today is perfect. Amen. Jesus. That's it. Mm. That's it. Because mm. the Lord has made the medication, but the Lord showed me what they are lacking. They are lacking minerals and they are lacking vitamin C. So I tell them to squeeze a lot of lemon and take rock salt into the living drink. No, they don't touch it. Mm. Mm. So it's important to hear from the Lord. So we see which way to go. Amen. When she came to the office to pray for her, in my spirit I saw a glass of water. That's what the Lord was seeing. So, what was the place? Give me. I don't know how to say it. So, I don't know how to say it. 
So you have to go by, by, by what you are seeing inside. It's not just a matter of praying. Huh? When I will come and check, make sure. If I see it slapping, you are slapping. Pop it!